Well, Mary, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with us. Can you tell me thank just you. a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Christ's Kitchen? Well, I attend church here mm -hmm. and 18 years ago, the priest, Paul Bresnahan, he talked me into working here. Uh -huh. I had just left my job at the bank. So you've been here 18 years? Yeah, next month. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I still love it every day. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, when did Christ's Kitchen start? Almost 50 years ago, Father Gil Watkins, and he's still with us. He's in his 90s, and he started it. Wow, that's awesome. When he started it, what was his heart? Like, what is your all's kind of mission with Christ's Kitchen? The mission, and also with all Episcopal churches, is usually to feed the hungry. Almost every Episcopal church has either a pantry or a soup kitchen, and that's what we do. Feed people and love on them, yes, right? Yes, feed them and love them. Yes. That's what I do. I love that yeah. so much. So what does the day-to-day -day kind of look like here well, at Christ's we Kitchen? we open up at 10 and everyone can come in and they can have coffee and a breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then we have a hot lunch every day from 11.30 to 1. You become really close to these yeah, people. Yeah, they're like my family. That's and some of them I've known for years. Yeah, so we awesome. have a lot of new people. Is there anything particular that like sticks out to you when you just think about Rice Kitchen and like a, maybe a really fun story? I'll just say this from my heart. What I've learned from the people here, especially the most downtrodden people, if you treat them with respect, they treat you with respect. And they are the nicest people I've ever met. And if you give love, they give love. That's the biggest thing I've learned. I mean, just to even say hello and ask how they're doing makes a huge Now, what are maybe some challenges that you guys have? Well, our challenges, uh, of course, are monetary mm -hmm. because of our appliances that break down. And there's not a lot of challenges. I mean, the donations are low in the summer and they build back up through the holidays. But really, we, we do great. It's a miracle here yes. every day. You see just God providing. Everything I need comes through that door, mm -hmm. every single thing. I mean, we just marvel at it, all the volunteers. I can say, oh no, we don't have hamburger buns and it'll be there. Uh -huh. It's amazing. That's awesome. Is there any maybe certain specific needs that you know of that well, you guys have? My needs change really every couple weeks, but what I always need is coffee and creamer and the styrofoam bowls and cups and plates, anything, forks, so anything at all. Yes, and I know with your appliances, just cooking day in and day yeah. out, things they're, like that start to break down yes, and need they're, replace, right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty old, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is costly mm -hmm. to get them fixed, mm -hmm. so. There and God provides. Right, for yeah. sure, for sure. And what are maybe some ways that people can get involved? If someone wants to volunteer, they can call me. We'd love to have some people to fill in from our regular volunteers. I may be able to use a couple extra hands off, you know, on a regular basis. So they just call me and I'll put them on the list. Who do you all mostly serve with this? We serve everyone there's no questions asked that's our motto no questions asked everyone is welcome but right now i mean we have the elderly that live over here in the towers a lot of grandmothers raising their grandchildren poor working poor and homeless addicts everybody love that well mary thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me thank i just you. Love hearing about your heart and your heart for the community in Christ's Kitchen Heart. And at River Ridge, we actually have this thing called the Dollar Club, where once a month we ask everyone to throw in an extra dollar and we take that and we find a place where we can be a blessing and just come alongside. And then when we heard about Christ's Kitchen, we just wanted to come alongside you guys and bless you. So I actually have a check for you today for $5,271. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you.